Why is it that movies that are fresh, new, groundbreaking, original and intelligent movies, why do they often fail? Well, uh, you know, most of the time. While other movies that are cookie cutter, predictable, boring and just all around dumb seem to have enormous success. Uh, yeah, again, most of the time. Is it just because the general movie audience is kind of stupid? Or is there more to it than meets the eye? Well, my friends, let me relate to you something that I recently learned, which not only answers this question, but also totally blew my mind. So much of what I see in the world now makes so much more sense after having understood this concept. And it goes like this. A teacher is talking to a room full of business students and he asks them, How many people here think that they could build a better quality hamburger than what you would buy at McDonald's? And of course, pretty much everyone in the class raises their hands because of course, all of us could make a better burger than McDonald's. I know I could. The teacher then goes on to ask, Then why is it that even though every person in this room can make a better quality burger than what you buy at McDonald's, why is it that none of us could ever dream of selling as many burgers as McDonald's? The room falls silent and the question hangs in the air. Nobody really knows why such a low quality hamburger could sell so much. The teacher finally answers, it's because McDonald's is better at business systems. Even though there are a ton of other businesses out there that could cook you a better burger, we all still go to McDonald's because it's just so damn easy. If I want to get a better quality burger, first, you know, I have to drive to find a place that makes one, whereas McDonald's, they just seem to be all over the place whenever you need them. You can throw a rock in any direction and it will hit a McDonald's restaurant. You know, then I have to actually walk into the shop in order to order my hamburger, with McDonald's, I can just go through the drive-thru. I don't even need to get out of my car. Then, of course, we have to place the order with the guy who'll probably get it wrong, and maybe the contents of the burger might be a bit unfamiliar to us, so we'll have to ask what exactly is in the burger. But with McDonald's, I already know exactly what's in the burger. I already know exactly what I'm getting. And then, of course, you know, we have to sit there and we have to wait for the burger to be cooked until they finally bring it to you. With McDonald's, it's ready to go right away. You're in and out of that place within two minutes. So even though McDonald's burgers are lower quality, we prefer to buy them because the business systems make it so easy. We just want to fill our empty stomachs as quickly and easily as possible. And this is the point. It's not the quality of the product. It's the system. A lot of people focus on trying to build a better hamburger when it really doesn't matter all that much. And this is the exact moment when my mind blew. Whoa. Now I feel like I'm Neo who can finally see the code behind the matrix. Now I understand why creative geniuses like Nikola Tesla die in poverty while the much less talented but much more business savvy Thomas Edison make an absolute fortune. Now I understand why there's plenty of other people who can sing just as good, maybe even better than Beyonce, yet there's still only one Beyonce because she knows how to sell herself as a brand. She's got business systems built up around her. Now I understand why there are so many big movie companies like Marvel that follow the same format for movie after movie after movie and people still flock to see them even though they're completely predictable stories because Marvel is the McDonald's of the movie world. As I said with McDonald's we just want to fill our empty stomachs and the business systems of McDonald's help to make that quick and easy and when we go to see a movie we don't necessarily want to fill our stomach although we might with popcorn anyway but really when we go to see a movie what we want is to fill our hearts with emotion. That's really what we're buying when we buy a movie ticket. We want to be able to cheer at the heroes and boo the villains. We want to be able to laugh at the stupid jokes and cry when a character that we like dies. We want to be able to ride that emotional roller coaster. And if the movie hits all of those emotional beats for us, we don't really care if the story is kind of predictable or it's just a rip off of an older movie that we've seen already. We don't really care. We just want to ride that emotional roller coaster and have our emotional needs met as quickly and as easily as possible. The thing is we can hate on McDonald's for clogging up the world's arteries with junk food all we want but at the end of the day they're just giving people what they want and the same is true for the dumb movies they succeed because it gives people what they want and it requires the least amount of effort from the audience to understand it and the predictable story requires the least amount of effort for the audience to understand it it's a good business system. 
system. So hey, if Marvel's formula can hit all the emotional beats, yeah, why not just recycle it again and again and again? Clearly, we don't care. I mean, that's pretty much J.J. Abrams' career in a nutshell, isn't it? All he does is just copy the pattern of those who've been successful before him. Now, if you're feeling an intense and crushing feeling of terror at this concept, don't be alarmed. That indicates only that you're still sane. I get it, it pains you to see so many talented and brilliant people failing, while there are other so many creatively bankrupt people succeeding. It's unfair. But, you know, there is a silver lining to this. This means that every person who beats themselves up for not being talented enough to succeed doesn't really need to beat themselves up at all. Because talent, turns out, doesn't really matter all that much. If you can build up good business systems around you, you don't really need to be more than just average. Just like a Big Mac.